Hey everybody, Steve here and welcome to video number 25 in our series, WordPress Website Secrets. Today we're going to tackle a concept that we've touched upon in the past but haven't really talked about in any kind of detail, and that concept is FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. If you recall, the way we've been uploading files in the past is essentially using our cPanel and then going to our File Manager, which would bring up this window right here, and then we can use the Upload button and upload files directly from our local machine to the server. And while functional, you might not want to log into your cPanel all the time. So we're going to skip this step completely and we're going to use something called an FTP client. And one of the most popular FTP clients is called FileZilla. So if you do a Google search for FileZilla, make sure you end up on this website right here, which is FileZilla-project.org. Make sure you've got the little secure lock there. The download that you're going to want is the client version, which is the one on the left. All you'll need to do is just push that button and it will, uh, depending on your browser, it will offer you an opportunity to save it to your hard drive. Then you just unzip it. And once you've installed the software properly, you'll find an icon most likely on your desktop. And just double click on it. And here is what you'll be greeted with. This top section right here is going to be your status. It's going to allow it will let you see uh, when files are being transmitted. This middle section right here are the directory trees. I could care less about seeing the directory trees, so I'm going to shrink those down as much as I can. Uh, these are the areas that I like to pay particular attention to. If you'll note that everything on the left of this line right here is the local site, and everything on the right of this line right here is the remote site. And then down here, the very bottom, is going to show you all of your files as they're being moved from one side to the other. So the way we're going to do this is you could enter your information right here if you're only interested in FTPing to that particular site one time. But if you want to create a profile for that particular site, come over here and you click on it. And then you'll do New Site. I've already done a new site. And essentially what I did was I clicked on new site and then I renamed it. I think it popped up as new and I just called it WW Secrets. And here is some information here. Your host is generally going to be your website's IP address. You could probably also get away with putting ftp.yourwebsite.com here as well. And then with FTP, we're going to use port 21. That is just the common FTP port. And the protocol we're, we're selecting is FTP. There's no encryption with FTP. We're going to do a logon type of normal. There's my username. And then my password is password 12345. So I'm going to copy this here and pop it in here so you know which password we're using. And we're going to connect. And you can see right here it's giving us some information, uh, directory successful. And now on the right hand side, we see the information of all the files that is currently on our server. This is the same thing that we would see uh, if we went to our cPanel and then uh, looked at the file manager. So we can go to go to the trash and look at an empty directory. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you what it looks like um, when I move files. So I'm going to select the first one and then I'm going to shift and select the last one so that you can see all the files fly from the left to the right. And then I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say upload. And as you can see, you've got data here. You can see the files and you can see how fast this thing goes. It's just really, really fast. It's done. So 12.3 megabytes is already moved from my local to the server. But that's pretty much it. That's FTP. And if you wanted to move files from, say, for example, the server to the local, you just basically find a file or a folder, right click, and you can use download. So I just taught you how to use FTP. Now I'm going to teach you to not use FTP. And here's why. See the pretty flowers? This is our local machine. It's all bright and sunny and pretty. But here, hiding in the shadows, is our dangerous hacker. Perpetuating the stereotype with his scary background and his folder called Dangerous Hacker Stuff. Okay, I think it should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway that, uh, before we move on. 
hacking of other people's resources, or in this particular case, uh, packet sniffing of other people's information is highly illegal. And if caught, you will go to federal prison. What I'll be demonstrating in this video is packet sniffing of my own data. There's actually no real hack here, but what I'm doing here is for educational demonstration purposes only. And at the end of the video, I'm going to teach you how to circumvent such a situation from happening to you. So on we go. So let's see what's up the hacker's bag of sleeves. Bag of sleeves? Oh, I'm just going to leave that. Bag of tricks. So our hacker is going to log into his ominous terminal and he's going to run a program. And away he goes. Meanwhile, on our happy machine, we're going to log into FileZilla and we are just going to use port 21. We're just going to type in our username here, AVT WordPress. We're going to type in our password of password 12345 and we're going to connect to our server. And boom, he's got us already. Did you see it happen? Well, let me be more specific. Come back to our hacker machine. Let's go ahead and stop this scan. And while we were joyfully logging into our WordPress from the coffee shop, our hacker was watching our every move. Let's find out how. So what you're looking at now is the packet sniffer and the packet sniffer sniffs every single packet of data that goes from our network out the internet and back. So what our happy hacker can do is basically filter this data however he sees fit. He wants to go and he wants to look at this one particular machine and he wants to look at FTP traffic specifically. And once he does that, we'll just find the first FTP packet which is right here and let's go ahead and follow the stream and oh look at this so in clear text our hacker can see your username and your password as clear as day and now they have your FTP login credentials port 21 and back over here they know you were going to this IP address right here that was your destination IP so the hacker now has everything that they need to log into your server and do with it what they choose. So how do we avoid this? It's very simple, actually. All right, so this time let's fire up FileZilla, but instead of using port 21, let's use port number 22. Port number 22 is the SFTP protocol. And this is actually a HostGator server, so it's actually on 2222. And let's go ahead and use our login and our password here, password 12345. All right, let's set the hacker up to start capturing files. Come back here and let's log in using 2222 this time and connect. And look at this. It's going to give us this warning, but we know that this is our website, so let's hit OK and you can see it's connecting and look at that and we're in let's jump back to the hacker computer and stop it let's see here let's do the same filter that we did before and go to a packet here and follow uh oh what is the deal I can't Make heads or tails of all of this. So as you can see, the difference between giving away the farm and not giving away the farm is changing the port number and tightening things down just a little bit. So as you can see, FTP is a great way to make your life a little bit easier. Makes those uh, file transfers very, very easy. But I would definitely take the extra step of not using port 21, using port 22, or call your host, find out what their SFTP uh, port is, and making sure that you're using a port that encrypts the data. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Many more videos to come, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much. See ya.